You're watching BTV. Rock Resources is a junior oil and gas exploration company on this year's Venture 50 annual list with an affinity for acquiring under the radar assets. A few years back, the company anticipated looming supply shortages that would in turn drive up the price of oil. So they went into action and have never looked back. We probably are one of the best growth stories out there in oil and gas. Our primary business plan has been to assemble a big block of assets that when oil prices are strong, we can hit the drill bit and grow the company and the asset. I think there's a lot of people have very good reserve bases with a lot of value and you can ride the oil price up with that. But we add that extra dimension of actual organic growth. So that's very exciting. Rock's technical focus and deep knowledge of the oil fields in Saskatchewan and Alberta gives it a real competitive advantage that has enabled it to identify assets with significant growth potential. The first one we picked up was a, a small 100 barrel a day uh, asset. Uh, we've since built that uh, to over 400 barrels a day. Um, so been able to quadruple that uh, with just a couple wells. The other asset, namely that we bought from Federated Co-op, we've basically taken uh, the core in Southeast Saskatchewan and Northwest Alberta, and we've retained that. We've sold some of the non-core positions in excess of what we paid for the entire asset. Uh, and then our latest acquisition uh, is, is a lot of uh, drillable locations, both in the Mydale and the Frobisher in Saskatchewan. One key way that Rock can continue to add value to these assets is through drilling. We've drilled five wells thus far. Uh, we started in July. Three of those are on production uh, as of today. Uh, we have another five wells planned in, uh, in Q4. We're keenly focused on, on drilling results right now and just organic growth within, uh, within our asset base. Based on the numbers to date, their ambitious targets are well within reach. In the second quarter, we were sitting at about 3,200 BOE a day with, uh, with very little debt. We expect to end the year at 4,500 BOE a day with only 16, 17 million of debt. That's close to 50% growth in uh, six months. Now, Rock is getting ready to up the ante with an unexpected discovery of a vast lithium field right in their own backyard. Operationally, it's exactly in our wheelhouse, in the jurisdiction that we have the highest expertise in. So far, so good. You know, we've drilled the, I think the best two wells uh, ever tested in Canada and we're kind of off to the races with it. And really it's just a matter of moving it forward with uh, whoever that technological partner will be. When Rock does move ahead, their lithium assets could prove to be a game changer. I think that lithium asset actually has the potential to exceed our oil and gas assets in terms of value and ultimate cash flow and returns. But it's an asset that's going to require three to five years to fully develop. And our belief is that it's best suited to move that into its own asset, its own entity that, that can raise that capital and focus on the lithium asset. In addition to uncovering its lithium potential, Rock will rely on its highly experienced technical team, which has a solid track record of execution and value creation, and is fully devoted to growing shareholder value.